It is 914. New on Daybreak, we get a visit with one of the first girls to take the Boy Scouts up on its recent rule change, encouraging boys and girls to join. She's a fifth grader from Plainfield, and Joe Melillo got to meet her. Good morning. Yeah, she's a real, real special girl. She is loves the outdoors and uh, Boy Scouts of America. They're allowing young girls for the first time and women to join their organization. Ella Ellis is the perfect addition. Check it out. For Pac 394 in Plainfield, Pinewood Derby car build night is full of excitement. Designing, drilling, and of course, sanding. When you uh, go to sand uh, the car, it's to get the car uh, smooth. But if you take a closer look, this pack has a new member that's a little different. She's, she's one of those people that never misses a chance to feed a homeless person. Fifth grader Ella Ellis is the first female to join Pack 394, and it's created quite a stir. I think it's like not fair that girls that should be left out of Boy Scouts. She brings like other stuff to the table, like she can do she can do art better than like anybody here and stuff. It should it should be like this. It should have been like this from the start. Uh, she's just definitely one of our most enthusiastic scouts. Chuck Fippen is one of the leaders for PAC 394. She's been waiting for I think a few years for us to have girls in scouting, and it was obvious when we went to talk to her that she was ready to go. So she's been a fantastic addition to the pack. When I sat down with Ella and asked her about why she wanted to join. I get to do so much, um, like going uh, camping, doing archery. As you can see, Ella has a passion for the outdoors and for her brother. We actually looked for something that the kids could do together. They are tied at the hip. We really just like the fact that it's family oriented and uh, she can help her brother, her brother can help her. That family atmosphere is something you cannot miss. Little sisters running around getting hands on with their own Pinewood Derby cars. Moms using a drill press with a purse on her shoulder. I think it's always actually had girls. The sisters would always join the family and it's not about being right or wrong. Uh, your service in your community is a big thing and it doesn't matter male, female. National leadership for Boy Scouts of America now stress family instead of just boys. Listen to your kids. They'll tell you what's right for them. Girls, you can just follow your dreams. And she most likely will follow her dreams. Just to explain, uh, the younger group, which is five through fifth graders, they have a male den and a female den. And then both groups come together for big events like you just saw, like the Pinewood Derby kind of uh, build, as they call it. And uh, basically, as the kids get older, the same things happen. Um, male and female troops kind of meeting to separately, but getting together for big community events and such like that. Are the female dens full? Or is there room for growth there? Right. Well, <laughs> since it's so new, uh, they're kind of getting the female dens and troops ready. They're at least at 394. Sure. They're getting their first one ready, and it's going to be led, I believe, by Ella's mom. So oh, after all that, she's going to step up. Well, in all the scouting organizations, that's what you see is whoever emerges, you know, through the system, then they become the leader, and then yep. you know the younger ones learn from them. Oh, looking forward to knowing what her uh, eagle project will be. I know. I can't. You know? We, I can't I, I, you're right, because in a couple of years, we'll hear more about all these uh, yeah. young ladies who are joining up and, and graduating. Good stuff, Joe. Thank you. It is a 918 right now. All